On a recent video, I asked punters at Bike Park Wales, what's the coolest bike brand? Resoundingly, they said Santa Cruz. Probably Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. And I was like, wow, that's really interesting. Are Santa Cruz the most cool brand in the world? Well, I asked Garen Becker, who's one of their marketing dudes over here in Santa Cruz, what he thought about that. And he was like, really? That's great, but I didn't think that. They were quite humble about it. So let's go in, have a look, and see if they're as cool as everyone thinks. Now, I think this might be genuinely one of the coolest things you've ever done. Because I'm a trials geek, so's Garen. Mm -hmm. We're trials nerds. Big time. You're my hero. <laughs> I poor you. Tricks and studs. <laughs> poor you. What a sheltered life you've had. <laughs> um, I really think this is amazing because Santa Cruz don't need to make trials bikes. Because no. Danny already had a fantastic trials bike with Inspired. But what made you what made you take that on? Because it's not an easy task. Uh, Danny asked yeah. us to take it on. Yeah. He's a big fan of cars. He's always asking us for stuff. Ask, yeah. ask him sometime. He makes us drawings of what he thinks the next e-bike should be. He, oh, really? He's very, yeah, he's very I'd involved. I'd like to see them drawings, wouldn't you? Yeah. In Danny's pencil crayons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in a, in a, in a stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made the bike because we had the Carbon Lab. At the time the bike came out, our Carbon Lab was pretty new. Um, and it, the bike is about, the bike's not about selling bikes. Mm. Uh, there's about five people in this world who probably want to buy one of those. Yeah. Don't ask us, because we're, we're not going to make it. Yeah, we're, six, yeah. Six of them. Yeah. <laughs> we're not actually going to make it no matter what. But uh, what is nice about that is you can take the techniques you learn in the lab making a bike like this. Yeah. And if you have your own factory overseas, like mm. we do where you're making bikes, yeah. you can take those techniques right to that factory yeah. and you can use them there on your bikes and only your bikes. So, so that bike's made here? This bike's made here, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't know that. Yep. That's very cool. Right, right back where we just were. Definitely one of the coolest things. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I heard this is what you're paying me for today. Yeah, this is this is your <laughs> number uh, pre-tax. This oh. is what you get after tax. <laughs> Seriously, this is incredible. There's a this decimal point uh, right there. <laughs> yeah, five dollars. Yeah. Oh. Um, this is incredible. You've seriously raised through the paid uh, paid uh, program. Yeah. Program. So pay dirt's your program. So you're not, this isn't your thing. Santa Cruz Mountains, Santa Cruz Mountains Trail Stewardship. That's an, organiza an organization that already exists here. Yeah. That that's is not your thing. Nope, that's no. not us. That's your typical trail org nonprofit. They yeah. are uh, in existence to maintain and build trails here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would raise money for nonprofits like them. Yeah. And not only them, I mean all over the world. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's a selfish pursuit. More trails yeah. to ride. Yeah. Um, so. Let me try and work this number out. One million seven hundred and eighty. Oh, wait a second. How many is? Where's there? Is there a decimal point in this? Uh, it would be on the end. That's one point seven million. One point seven million dollars raised for building trails. God, I hope that's a good trail. <laughs> Right, one of the coolest things for sure is Saint Cruz Syndicate, the race team. You've got a special mix there. Who's your favourite rider? What a question. Nina Hoffman. Ah, oh, that's a get out. Ah, she. Sh you should talk to her. She is cool. She is so she is headstrong. Very cool. Her game is tight. Yeah, you uh, think this is her year? Fan. You think this is it? I really do. Yeah, actually. yeah. Could be it, but I mean, how do you get that mix of riders into a team? Is it just like because they all get on? That's not easy. Uh, I think it takes. A keen group of people who have been keeping an eye on and have been involved with World Cup downhill racing for a very long time yeah, to get yeah. these people in. You've got uh, a vet like Greg Menar who can kind of guide. you got Steve who's yeah. still involved who can yeah. guide. He can be a scout on the trail. Um, we've had our eyes on Laurie for a long time because he's yeah. just a good dude. Yeah. He's a fun loving, like you cannot be around that kid and not have a good time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I call him a kid, he's probably, he's not a kid. But uh, Jackson is. Jackson is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. You know, I, I can't explain that. It just, yeah. uh, I think that 
I think it's like, I think the syndicate back in the day was like one of the first big teams that that almost brought like a almost an F1 or GP vibe to Mountain yeah. World Cup downhill racing, or, or at least in, in the last yeah. 10, 15 years. Yeah. So. No, I agree. I agree. Marketing dream. So. You also build your own wheels, which is cool. That is cool, because yeah. not everyone does that. Um, why did you get into it, and how many wheels? You've got a lot of wheels. Yeah. How many wheels do you make? Well, I don't know the exact numbers on how many they can make, but uh, I know that they spun out, I know that they can lace a wheel in yeah. a minute here. In a minute? Yeah, they can lace a wheel. Then it goes Bloody into the truing, and that might take 10 or so, but yeah. These guys can, when they're, when we have the orders and we have the inventory, we oh, can burn through. it's not a machine, through. do it? A machine's, who's, who's making those wheels? People uh, 20 people robots? work in this, 20, 20 people work in this area. Yeah. Um, that lacing machine is a human operated device that helps lace a wheel that quick. Right. Then the truing machines are standalone, but every single wheel gets a final check by hand. Yeah, yeah, um, that's incredible. Why did we get into it? Yeah, because uh, it's not the easiest thing to get into actually. No, it's not. It's funny, it happened while, while I worked here. Uh, we were outsourcing wheels to a company in Southern California, and I remember, because I was in sales, yeah. we could never get the wheels we wanted at the right time. So yeah. I remember sending so many bikes to bike shops without wheels. Yeah. I'll get you the wheels later. I'll get you your credit for the wheels, because we could never get the wheels. But yeah. that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was that the wheels that we did get were yeah. um, <laughs> They came apart. The, they were machine built as well, but the machines don't like spoke prep. They don't like um, anything binding the nipple as it goes on the spoke. Right, right. I don't like binding the nipple. I don't either. No, no. it's not for me. <laughs> There's a, since the machine didn't like it, they just didn't use it. So you'd ride the wheel for a couple weeks, yeah. come apart. And you had this quality issue and then it was just like, well, let's try it. And we got one of these machines. Like one of these machines has been here for 15 years and then Got figured out how to make that thing work, and then you know you expand capacity, and pretty soon you have four different wheel lines. And yeah, and twenty actually, people working in wheels, and you build every wheel. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's incredible. But that binding nipple mm. can smart. So this is definitely a cool thing about Santa Cruz. So this would be a very busy bit on a normal day. Um, and I guess these racks padded, I'm hoping these are for bicycles and Wheels. not some strange game you guys play. <laughs> uh, what goes on well, here? It, it is after hours. Uh, <laughs> those, yeah, we, do, we, we build everything here. Every frame and every complete bike gets built right here. And what those are is, uh, those are our padded do-it-yourself garage made stands for putting rotors on hubs and cassettes on hubs and yeah. tires on rims right there. And, and uh, so like every Santa Cruz bike gets built here? Yeah, or yeah every bike. Yeah. Everyone? Yeah. That's amazing. I didn't know that actually. Yeah, we're just I now... kind of presumed some got built, you know, somewhere else. No. And, no, no they're all built in. here. Yeah, we have our own factory that makes the frames. We ship the frames here, build the frames here. Yeah. Uh, we are though tooling up an assembly factory in Mainz, Germany. So all right. the people, yeah, all the people in those markets, there's a lot of, if you look in our Instagram comments, there's a lot of pissing and moaning about where's my bike, I'm in Germany. I haven't got my bike yet, and yeah, it's, right. it's uh, completely and totally well-founded. Yeah. Uh, it's a really, it's been a hard time getting the product into that market. Yeah. We got our own factory there now in Mainz, yeah. Germany. Uh, we're just now, like right now, tooling up, and it should be up and running in like, I don't know. Yeah, good problem to have. People <laughs> screaming out for your bike. We are Perfect. lucky in that regard. Yeah, yeah. very nice. <laughs> Garen, that is the Super 8, right? That yeah. you just pointed out. Neil Donahue of GMBN, I believe he raced one of those. Don't know if you know, but he used to be a downhill racer. Yeah, yeah, he used to race one of them. 98 or 99 probably, L yeah. Looks as old as he does. <laughs> Solar powered company, apparently. That's right, man. <laughs> so I thought these were just like very glamorous rain shields. Rain? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah actually, what are we talking about? <laughs> no, this is solar, and the the whole top of the building is solar. So. And it literally powers the whole factory. Yeah, we're able to power that whole thing, and I think give some back. 
That is great. Really? Give some back too? Yeah. The grid. Oh man, that is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so you're you're actually, Garen, not convinced you are the coolest bike brand because you're being <laughs> humble, right? And I, I'm saying you're definitely up there, right? I've got a cool idea for you, right? Because there's Juliana, right? Mm -hmm. So you've, you've you've got, you know, you've taken on the idea of like a brand within a brand. Here's my pitch: the Santa Carla. <laughs> okay. Q Last Boys. Uh, yeah, and we call it the Michael. Michael, yeah. <laughs> a vampire downhill bike or trail bike or whatever you want, really. The Santa Carla goer, cool. Oh. So you are quite humble about it. You weren't sure if you're the coolest brand or not. I have I convinced <laughs> you that you've got lots of cool stuff? You are cool. Oh, maybe. <laughs> the coolest, probably not. You just uh, aren't going to say you're the coolest absolutely. brand. Anyway, it's for other people to say. It's for other people to say, not you. True, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I just work here. You just work here. <laughs> you're doing well. Uh, yeah. He's doing well. Let us know in the comments down below, uh, should this man be so humble? Is it, is it a resounding win? Are they the coolest bike brand? What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. Is there a cooler brand? You're in trouble now. <laughs> you're in trouble now. Just let us have it. Uh, is Santa Cruz the coolest brand? Comments below. See you next time.